This time we are going to add the whole number. We are going to add fraction and mixed number. Okay, so again we are going to use the same ruler like we did before in the previous problems. We are going to add the whole numbers first. Remember, this rule you can apply only for addition. So I have 12 plus 5. 12 plus 5 is equal 17. Next we have to add fractions. I have 3 over 4 plus 4 over 7. Just please notice that we have different denominators. We have to find common denominator. I have 3 over 4 and I have 4 over 7. Okay? Now, it's supposed to remember that 7 is the prime number. Okay, I have 2, 3 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Okay, this is enough for this problem. Now, anytime you have in denominator prime number, okay, and the second denominator is lower than the prime number, you simply multiply the denominators. Okay, this is prime number, but the second denominator, I suppose to say maybe first in this problem, is lower than the prime number. We multiply these denominators together. So if 4 times 7 is equal 28. By what number I have to multiply 4 to get 28? I have to multiply by 7. 4 times 7 gives me 28. Whatever I I did in the denominator, I have to do also in the numerator. So I have 3, <coughs> three times 7 is equal 21. By what number I have to multiply 7 to get 28? I have to multiply by 4. Whatever I did in the denominator, I have to do also in the numerator. So I have to multiply by 4. 4 times 4 gives me 16. Okay, so I have 21 over 28 plus 16 over 28. 21 plus 16, okay, is equal to 37. Okay, denominator will stay the same. Okay, now this is improper fraction. Anytime you want to convert improper fraction to the mixed number, you have to divide 28 into 37. So I have 37 over 28. How many times 28 goes into 37? Once. 1 times 28 is 28 and subtract. Now, I cannot subtract from 7, 8. So I have to borrow 1 from 3. So I have 17. 17, this is going to be 2. 17 minus 8 is 9. 2 minus 2 is 0. That's why my answer from this division is 1 and 9 over 28. Please keep in mind that the top number will go always to the front, remainder will go to the numerator, and divisor will go to the denominator. Okay, don't forget about this 17. So the final answer is going to be 17 plus 1 and 9 over 28. 17 plus 1 is 18, and I have 9 over 28. And this is the solution to this problem.